I'm so happy to see you. I'm Shamapti and so good to have you here. And this is the first video of mine of this year. And welcome to 2023. I wish you a beautiful, wonderful year ahead. I wish you all the good things. I'm really excited for this video as well because I have found few good skincare products. So these are new launches. And I took this poll. You wanted to see this video. So now get into this. So first I have this serum from Foxtel. This is the Keep Calm daily hydrating serum while marketing this serum they're mainly focusing on hyaluronic acid then bisabrol okay but why are they not talking about panthenol in the formula because this is the third ingredient of this serum and panthenol is a wonderful ingredient it can support your skin barrier it can hydrate your skin it is really a good thing to like include in your skincare and then it has betaine glycerin bisabrol hyaluronic acid are there but i'm more excited about the you know panthenol in the formulation because this can be a really good serum if you have weak skin barrier if you want to support your skin barrier and it feels so hydrating the texture is so nice nice if you're looking for a daily hydrating calming soothing serum this can be your pick this is a fragrance free formulation this is quite affordable as well and yeah i really like it i i'm really enjoying this serum i completely recommend it to you if you want a no-nonsense beautiful serum in your skincare routine that can you know give your skin plump glowy healthy a look then this can be your thing i also have their eye cream but i need more time to taste that but i'm loving this serum i have tried their vitamin c serum retinol serum then this one but i have to tell you this is my most favorite serum from this brand foxtel and then i have one cleansing oil this is from a uh, tony molly I tell you to wait for the sale when you wanna buy this one because Nika they give like 50% off on this so you're gonna get it for like 600 something like that even sometimes they give 60% off so do not buy it now because now they don't have much discount but during sales they give like very good discounts on Tony Molly and this is one again no nonsense a formulation it has fragrance but it didn't bother me the scent is kind of mild the main ingredient of this cleansing oil is mineral oil then we have a few emulsifiers it has also apricot oil hoba oil but as fragrant components it has linalool and cinnamon which can be uh, tricky for some people because some people can be allergic to this uh, fragrant components i mean these are known to be common allergens so please do a patch test but it worked really well for me it didn't sting my eyes didn't give me any breakouts works on sunscreen um makeup very effectively emulsifies well doesn't leave any sticky residue or any like those you know, very heavy residues very good thing almost a dupe of neutrogena cleansing oil that they have discontinued i think yeah this can be a dupe of neutrogena's cleansing oil i have also tried the face shops cleansing oil but i'm gonna pick this one over face shop because it is like i i feel it is better at emulsification it works better on my skin but if you want one fragrance free formulation then i recommend you this one from Joseon. This is more expensive than uh, this one because see they have used mineral oil as of, uh, the main ingredient of this uh, product. Uh, so mineral oil can be cheaper than uh, the oils they have used for this one, uh, this formulation for Joycean. Sorry Joycean, I always pronounce this brand's name wrong. Soon. so this is the ginseng cleansing oil but it has just 0.1 percent ginseng seed oil to be very honest it's written here and it has 50 percent of soybean oil but again very good product emulsifies well uh, doesn't leave any sticky or greasy residue behind works on makeup uh, sunscreen and doesn't sting my eyes i think i told you that already and yeah good stuff to have in your skincare routine now i have this you know, three favorite cleansing oils the first would be this one this uh, Joycean cleansing oil second would be Suganda Squalin cleansing oil and my third pick would be this one from Tony Molly and this is the most affordable during the sale so yeah you can choose either one like anything that 
works for you if you want fragrance free if you want more of like fatty oils in your cleansing oil then go for this one and if you don't have any issues with linalool or fragrance in your cleansing oil if you don't have any issues with mineral oil then go for this one tony Moly. and if you have like very very sensitive skin your skin doesn't like oils that much then i would recommend you suganda squalene because squalene is very well tolerated so next i have this one from raw beauty this is their face and body mist you also can use this for your scalp i'll tell you why because it has neem and curry leaves it actually has these two ingredients only curry leaf water and neem uh, water so this is so good i have itchy scalp sometimes and i use this it gives this instant relief also on my face it feels really soothing because neem and curry leaf this both of these things have antibacterial properties but let me be very frank with you it doesn't have that offer like in you know, a pleasant smell like rose water i like rose water from kapiva wish care but this one is quite effective it has this you know very good soothing qualities i had redness here and few bumps i applied it it worked really well on my uh, those things and also it works on itchy scalp so there it can be really good this is actually my second bottle because i have been using this a lot these days even on air one he likes it because of the simplicity of it and how effective it is so yeah i think you can give it a try if you have itchy scalp or if you're looking for a toner for your face and the last thing i have is this one from art rhythm their butter lotion so this is something between body butter and the lotion the consistency wise takes a little time to blend but once it's done this is beautiful you're gonna love the smell this is so sweet so pretty it has glycerin it has coconut oil it also has a bunch of butters milk protein and it contains mit and dmdm hydantoin as a preservatives so if your skin is allergic to this preservatives then stay away from this one but if your skin does well with this preservative then it's fine the brand says that you can use this for your face for your body but i don't use this for my face i use this for my body and i have also tried their this one spf 50 coconut milk butter lotion it is a body lotion sunscreen but it is very difficult to blend you know that's why i'm not liking it that much because i have used better sunscreens for body that absorbs quickly and it takes frankly a lot of time a lot of time so there is you can see it i have to do it for like five minutes i tried everything i tried to do this just pat it in but still doesn't doesn't absorb you know it just stays like this so there it becomes an issue also feels a bit sticky and it has this elegy kind of a scent to it so i'm not gonna repurchase it you know didn't like it but i love their this one this butter lotion so yeah that's all for now i really hope you found this to be helpful let me know if you have tried any of this already and if these things worked for you or not and thank you so much for being here i'm gonna see you very soon then bye bye